Hello there everyone, this is Good Guy Palps, and welcome to uh, Civ 6 Coaching with Knight Me King. He is Korea, I am the Roman Empire, and we're getting him his first deity victory, hopefully. We're 108 turns in, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click next turn. Where are you sending that seller? Oh, that's the one you send up to the coast. Nice. Cool. How's it going, by the way? How do you feel like you're doing? Uh, not bad. Uh, I gotta get acclimated again. You know how it goes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, who was gonna send this last guy? So with uh, and I, just to remind you, we talked about this last episode. Your main goal, if you, I think you already got education. Um, so after that, um, there's a few things you want. You'll be getting like apprenticeship, and I think you already either got it or going for it, and then like buttress and stuff. And then further on, the main goal is to get to chemistry, and then to win, you have to get rocketry and start building rockets. For a, for a science victory. Okay. Because then you can go to space. Yeah, I'm getting buttress right now. I just started on that. Let's cool. check. Open I'm, tech tree. That's what I'm going towards right now. Yeah, buttress. And then I'm, am I doing cartography after that, or am I going back to fill in astrology celestial? Uh, let's see. So once you get buttress, you, you probably want to go towards astrology because you want to go towards industrialization, actually. It will be really, really strong. Although also going towards astronomy is good and getting you to scientific theory is good. Um, but industrialization is probably more important. It's going to give you a lot of production on your minds. Okay, so I've got to get, let's see, buttress. I've got to do cartography, all that stuff below. Mass production, cartography, square rigging, and then I can get to industrialization. Yeah. Okay, that's a long way out. Whew, completed a granary. What do I want to build? What do I want to build? This builder's probably kind of wasted over here. I'm getting buttress around me. What? Oh, crikey. Beautiful. Got another campus in. Let's see, you have some pretty epic campus. And you're already getting universities in. That's awesome. Those universities are going to be epic for you. I'm more than a little excited. Perfect. What can I do with my faith? Do I have a religion? No. In fact, there's only two out of five religions. I probably should get us a religion so that we don't lose potentially to religious victory to the AI. I don't think we would anyways. They're, usually they kind of suck. In fact, I, can, I think I can go ask for a promise. Maybe I have to wait until they actually cover another city. Hmm. Very nice. Hmm. Settlers, I don't think I'm building any more settlers. I need to change my card out. Don't forget to check your policy cards pretty frequently, as much as you can, to make sure you're All right. being as effective as possible. Change policy. No, no, no. Pretty much every time you complete a Civic, you can change them, and you'll want to make sure you have the right ones in. Okay, so Civic. Let's see... Am I going back for military tradition? I can't remember. Or do I want to get theology? No, we don't really care about the temples that much. Yeah, I'm going to do military tradition. Backtrack. Cool. Yeah. 
Need more gold. Work? <laughs> Fell for my trap. So also, there's a maximum amount of resources you can hold. So for example, I think you have an iron mine. Maybe not, actually. But certain things like iron and horses, you can only hold so much, depending on some of the buildings you've built. So if it's maxed out, sometimes you can sell it to AI and get gold for it, which is a nice little, little way to milk the AI for more money. All right, all right. Let's see what we can do then. Uh, what's that builder doing up there? What are you doing with him? Which one? What is he doing up there? Your guy? Yeah, I don't know. What, what the? He's literally going up to the like the super northern Inca city. I wonder if the AI had like a turn or something. Or maybe I was just dumb and... I don't know. I have no idea why he was going up there. Good cow. You were spreading like the freaking plague. It's awesome to watch. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Your scout is still alive when you were afraid to lose him up north. Yep. Two turns, I'll get buttress. Alright, so I don't have dams yet. No, I'll get those soon though. Oh, my Hendradaro trying to freaking get there before I do. I will freaking destroy you. Don't do it, bro. You don't want to do it. Oh, they can't settle. They're ah. a city state. That's oh, weird. He's settling, bro. No, he won't settle. They can't settle another city. To get, it's like against the, the code of the game, pretty sure. So theoretically, it's almost worth a war with them to get a free settler. If you had the units to be able to kill that catapult and their other swordsmen and stuff, which I don't think you do up there, but it's a thought. How am I going? Is it, is it coast? No, it's coast. Just look like coast. Hey, Yosemite. Nice. Now he might put those units in your way. Oh, the Inca is who you have to worry about. They're literally trying to beat you there. You should beat them there, but um, wherever, which, yeah, which, which tile you're trying to get to. I'm just gonna go to this closest one I can get to this turn nice. right here. Perfect. Yeah, he won't be able to settle the next turn, so you're good. This I back this first. Oh. Civics. All right. Awesome. Should I build any units to try and like help myself along? I guess if anybody attacks, or do you just? Kind of build them as you go. So I'll build them if I need them, usually. 
to be honest. I usually won't build them until it's like I know that I'm about to go to war, I need to go to war, or I'm at war. Um, it's much more beneficial if you're going to get units, get builders. In fact, one of the, the governors you should look at getting is Liang. Her first thing is that every builder that's built in the city she's in will get one extra build charge. And yeah. it, it, if you look at your cities, you have lots of available like resources to chop, like rainforests and stuff. They can give you boost to food and production. And then as you put down improvements like mines, you, you get pretty great yields from it. So um, that's one way that you can get um, a lot of great production out of things in your cities. That's not even completed. I gotta build that first. There's still a whole other continent that we haven't even tapped. Yeah. yeah, we haven't even discovered it. Scout. Mm -hmm. Got your work cut out for you. Later, bro. Alright, so... We've pretty much discovered our whole continent now, though, which is nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go for cartography, I think. It'll get me towards industrialization, and it'll let me get a caravel, which I can use to cross the oceans. Great person instantly builds a university and library in the district. University Prides plus two science. Ooh, that's such a good, great scientist. And so you want to put them specifically in a campus where, because it completes a library and a university, right? Yeah. So what are you building in Chuncheon? Um, two turns, I've got a granary and... Perfect. Uh, so you can transport that, that great scientist. You don't have to leave him, make him leave the city. You can... Do a, there's a button that's like send to another city. You can just teleport him to one to another city. Teleport him to the probably Chuncheon because it's a little safer. And the campus doesn't have a or, yeah the, the uh, your Seiwon district doesn't have a library or a university. So when you put him in, it'll build both those buildings instantly, and you'll get a huge science boost for every either library or university whatever you said it was. Cool. 
like, that, like the, that's one of the keys to getting a ton of science in this game is to get those great scientists, and that's like one of the best ones you can get. So is it a bad idea to do like a sail on on my Gongju? It's like the small little one that I built on the lake here. Not necessarily. Um, I know you get the the bonus for being on hills, but there's only one hill tile that's really that would be surrounded, hmm. or not surrounded, but it would even be close. Would you still put one there to boost Probably. science, or do you just build? Oh, okay. Because you're still gonna get a plus four, which is a which is still like a really good adjacency. Um, bonus. Plus four normally is like epic. So where would you put it? In Ganju. Yeah. Well, it has to be on a hill, so it kind of limits your options pretty much to where your builder is right now. I don't see any other hills. I've got one on. there. I've got one above him, and then I can do another one. It's a plus four, it says. Um, northeast. Any of, like them the tile be, just a... any of them should be, cool. any hill should be plus four. I'd, I'd put them right where the builder is right now because you don't get rid of the woods. Um, you could chop those out if you wanted and then put a mine down. So you can move that cool. builder to where that the trees are and then chop them out, which will complete the campus faster. So when you put a dam in, do you stop flooding then? Uh, yes, it will prevent floods. They take a while to build, though. I am aware. You can boost them with military engineers, but I don't think you have the ability to create any yet. And I often don't don't use military engineers to boost them. It's not necessarily the warlords throne. Oh, oh yeah, so you want to build those buildings because they'll give you a government um, upgrade. And you get to choose between one of three. The warlords throne means every city you conquer will give you a huge boost to production. The other ones are more peaceful um, bonuses. One's gonna help you when you settle cities, which you've kind of already settled most of your cities. So that the best one's probably the one that affects your governors, which I think is the ancestral hall. Yeah, dude, you're crushing it with science right now. You're beating every AI that we've met. Soon to see how she rolls. In see fact, if we look at science, uh, we're still... It goes off of how many researches you've done. So we're in the middle of the pack still, but we'll, we'll cruise past pretty soon. Okay. Should I do, if I have negative one amenity, should I do an entertainment complex in my capital? Um, it wouldn't hurt. It's a pretty good thing to build, especially since your city's landlocked. Um, you you want to put it somewhere, if you can, where it will affect the most cities. Um, for example, any city within six tiles, some of the buildings inside the entertainment complex will provide amenities to those cities. So if you put it in the tile that's... Hmm. I've got a tile north of the mountains in my... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It, you'd lose a mine spot, but it will affect a ton of cities, so it's a pretty dang good location. Very cool. Ah, uh, where is it? I'm gonna need to build that somewhere. Okay, got my military engineer.
Alright. Okay, duplicates of luxury resource grant amenities. Let's see what's going to help us the most. What do you have? I know you have duplicates, right? I don't have any duplicates, but that might be because I traded some away. You only have honey and silk. And you will get another silk soon. Um, right outside Ganju, you'll be able to assimilate that and use it. So it doesn't really matter so much uh, which one you vote for that. None of them would really help us a ton, but Silk's probably the best option. All right. And, and then combat strength, it's pro it's really going to be ranged or melee. Neither of us have, like we're not at war, but we're allies with our neighbors, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it's trying to guess what everyone else will pick. I'm going to vote for ranged, since you have archers up there, and if we do have war, that would help us the most. Ooh, I'm alive. 5.1 on a turn. That ain't good. Beautiful. Is it rare for the computer not to attack? No. Um, it's rare early. If you, if you discover someone really early, DD recognizes they have a huge military advantage and they'll attack. Um, however, if you can get friendly with them, they typically will be friendly. messing with my my uh, policy cards, so you're good. I'm in the harbor, I think. Must have been an emergency that didn't involve us. Sorry. Um, You're good.
Civics. Is there a certain Civic you're trying? Am I trying to work for, or that I should be working for right now? Um. Yes. Let's see. What do you have? You have civil service, right? Yeah, you do. Because we have uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So really, the next main thing is figure out what government you want. Divine right, which is a monarchy, is going to help you get more housing for your walls, and it's going to help you. It, in general, it's going to gear you more towards a militaristic. Theocracy is for religion. A merchant republic is for gold. It's going to help you get more gold. Um, in general, I go towards exploration and merchant republic if I'm playing a peaceful game. Unless I'm doing religion, in that case, I might go for reform church instead. I rarely go for a monarchy. Um, it just feels like the bonuses aren't as good for monarchies. Unless you're strictly a... So, team. I'm trying to go... Let's see. Probably the exploration would be what I suggest. And there's also good civics on the way there, such as medieval fairs, guilds, and mercenaries. I think you're required to get specifically medieval fairs and, and mercenaries. Yeah, I'm just getting... Okay, cool. All right. Many thanks. Oh, no let's problem. see. All right, so question. Mm -hmm. Builders, newly trained builders gain two extra build actions on serfdom. Yes. Does that very good stack point. on Liang's? Yes. Um, wow, okay. And in fact, if you build the pyramids, you get another build charge. So you could have builders with eight build charges if you have all that stacked together. Holy cow. 100% um, campus district adjacency bonus. What is that? Phenomenal. That's going to double all. So you're, that plus four is an adjacency bonus. I think. C1s might work different, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works still. You put that card in, it's doubled. Okay. This is a uh, rando. Let's see. Those up. Four turns away. Looks like we're going to have a normal age. I do not believe I have enough to get to a golden age. I see you getting them builders. Very nice. The other thing you can do, you can chop away marsh. So marsh is like that flooded area. Um, has like the, well, it looks like marsh. You can go remove the marsh, and it gives a ton of food to your city. So if you have housing space, you can grow your population like instantly by chopping away marsh. Okay. Um, the housing space, so like the 7 out of 10 housing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does that mean? Does that mean I can grow up to 10, but you're so saying gain as, population instantly? How does that work? So as you approach your housing limit, so you can improve your housing or increase your housing limit by certain buildings and improvements. Farms, for example, provide you plus half a housing. If, as you approach your maximum housing, your growth will slow. Your city can still grow, but it's like halved. It's reduced by some percent. I don't remember what the exact uh, percentage is. But if you have space, let's say 7 out of 10, you harvest marsh. It gives you 80 food all at once, and it will theoretically in increase your population by one, letting your city work one more tile. So it's, okay. a, good, it's a good thing to chop away usually. Because it's ugly and doesn't really provide you much. Because you can just you can chop it away and replace it with a farm for the exact same amount of yields, if not better yields. Okay. So you're up to 130. You you went up by 23 science, I think, when you put in those cards. But yeah. more now, because you're up to 119, and you were at, like, 70 or 80 before. It's phenomenal. Would you, on, like, the border cities, mm -hmm. would you put walls up, or would you just not worry about that until you go to war? I wouldn't worry about it unless I'm afraid of war. Okay. Um, or, if I, for example, if, we, if we are, we're allied with the neighbor. If I wasn't allied, I might build walls. But since we have an alliance, at least I have an alliance with them, they can't go to war. You, what are the relationships relationships with you? 
Forget they're different. Even though we're on they're team. okay. So it looks like they're friendly towards you. You should click on the AI. Both of them, uh, Dido and Pachacuti, and then say create alliance. If you're allied, if you're declared friends, they can't go to war. And then if you're you have an alliance, they definitely can't go to war with you for a minimum of like thirty or something turns. Declare friendship. She said no. Okay. Then do it with Pachacuti. And Pachikuri. this dude, he doesn't like me as much. Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't like me very much. Interesting. So actually, walls are tempting. I wonder what will happen, though, because I'm allied with them and with you. So if they go to war with you, I wonder if I actually would declare war on them. Like, what would happen? So I guess I, I forget. I forgot that you're not allied with them as well. So walls actually would make more sense on your border city, but only because I'm not sure how the game would handle them declaring war on you. Okay. Since there's, like, different alliances and stuff around. Jeez, dude, you have that hall down there. That's nuts. This whole area? Yeah, it's cool. Thanks. You're going to have the, a much cooler empire up there, especially as you get these your improvements done. Your science is just going to be... Like, yours is already blowing mine away significantly. Not even close. Gold still in the toilet, but we do what we do. And, you know, you're valuing uh, your your science over your gold, so you're you're doing fine. Three of three. That sucks. You're saying clear marsh away, and that'll do the same thing as like the boost from clearing rainforest? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I just showed the AI a bunch of resources for gold. Hopefully they don't use that gold to hurt you. Yeah, hopefully. Or those resources, I mean. Ooh, let's see, you and I have a scientific alliance, so I can trade with you for a decent amount of gold and science per turn. I can trade with Prislav and get an envoy there. That's kind of tempting, I guess. Free envoys are nice. That's going to give me production in my armory. Education. Very nice. What am I'm I sailing doing? across the ocean to go discover the other sieves. Looks like we're in normal ages and our allies are in dark ages. Our, our neighbors, I mean. That is nice. Would you do Hicksunt, Draconis, or Monumentality? So, in general, I would choose Monumentality over, over Hicksunt, Draconis. However, I'm about to go discover the new continent with my boat. So I'm probably going to actually take that because I'll get a lot of exploration done since I can now cross yeah, the ocean. So I'm going to do monumentality. I'm not even close. I, I still have to build a harbor. Yeah. Water mill. Um... And again, oh, 
there's a lot of tricks and stuff to the game and like small improvements you can do to just to your gameplay that will come just as you continue to play more. But in general, this is just a lot of the, uh, I'm trying to make sure you, you get kind of all the basics necessary to beat Deity. Um, okay. To beat them handedly in every victory type, we'll have to do a lot more games. Which all right with that. is yeah. great. Uh, all right, so... Explain adjacency bonuses again. I know I've asked that before. Yeah, so certain districts are going to be boosted by other districts or other things. So typically, so Korea's kind of weird. I've talked about how, like, they if they build a, a, their campus on hills, they get plus four regardless. Normally, for a normal campus, like for me, for Rome, it's a plus zero campus wherever you build it, unless it's next to certain things. If it's next to the city center, it's going to be a plus one adjacency because it's adjacent to the city center. Plus, every mountain tile that it's adjacent to would give it a plus one. So my campus over here in the mountains, has next. it's next to four mountains, so that took a lot of work, but it made it so that it was a plus four adjacency. All of your campuses are that or better because of your because your Korea, despite me having okay, so, a ton of extra work to get that, something that good. So in my capital, I have my, my main, I can do, I've got a couple hills there that I could expand. Mm -hmm. I could use a builder there. Uh, sure. Would you put, like, an aqueduct or anything else in there, or would you just work on um, getting more builders there to boost the science? The first thing I would do is builders to boost, to, to chop the rainforest and put hills all the way around your campus because you're going to get tons of science and then tons of production, not to mention the food from chopping the rainforest. Um, if you're full on housing, I would consider putting an aqueduct to the west, the left side of your city center. Now, it only is going to boost your housing by one or two because you're already settled on the river, so you already have the housing from fresh water. Um, so it's not necessarily necessary. The other thing you could do is get something like a, like a commercial hub next to your city center that'll give you, you know, money. Uh, you could get the diplomacy quarter. Um, you definitely want to continue to build districts, but I think the first thing I would do is, is build out your improvements in the capital that will help you build those districts a lot faster. Okay. Active Volcano, Pachacuti wants to trade, I accept, oops. Oop. Holy, I think I found an unclaimed continent, unclaimed island, with a ton of turtles. And if that's true... Traders big for tra- or uh, turtles big for trading? Yes. Uh, they're great. You can trade them away. They also are good for science, and they have just general, generally good yields for coastal tiles. It has to be unclean because there's so many tribal villages there. There are there's going to be barbarians on it, but I could either one of us could put a city on it. Except there's no hills on it, which is unfortunate. If I could get a settler out, I would get one there. Hmm. one more settler. Go settle him on that island. How much population? I need 10. Hmm. 
it's worth it. Let's put Madness in capital. Let's move Pingala out to Kumai is actually fine. In the capital, we'll build a settler. Cancel the settler here. And instead, work on the commercial hub again. A new player, the Congo. They're actually doing pretty well, though. Looks like. Close to a religious victory. She's converted four of eight civs, everyone on our whole continent. I don't think she'd ever convert the other continent necessarily, but. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. I need to get this city to 10 pop though and get a holy site in. We have to renew our alliances. They want, want truffles and money. Okay. Ooh, I got to take a nasty flood. I 
Nice, you have a ton of builders going on. That's awesome. Yeah, I got a bunch of it. Got a lot of stuff to do. Um, bonus resources, what are they good for? They really just provide, like, yields. They provide okay. pretty decent yields. That's pretty much it. You can chop away stone. I think you can chop away copper for gold. Stone will just boost a ton of production, which actually isn't a terrible idea if you chopped away your stone because um, then you could put other districts there, but it's, it's kind of debatable. Pretty much it's up to you. All right. Our settler. We'll use Magnus to grow Rome a lot. Sweet. you settle over there? I'm going to. Are you going to? Okay, cool. I'm getting one settler. Um, oh, he's really, down there already. As long as I don't have any loyalty issues, which I won't, which is good. And I've got a legionnaire is coming in to kind of clear it out. Look, there's a crossbow in there for support. Okay, I got the arena in. Would you put a lumber mill down or clear the forest? Depends uh, where where you're looking. That's hills. Um, north of Ganju. Okay, so if it's if it's on a hill, I typically would chop it and then put a mine down. On flat land, if you chop it, and then you need to put like a farm or a district down. So if you're if you don't plan on putting a district there, I would turn it into a lumber mill. If you are going to put a district there, then you chop it for the production. I don't really know if I'm going to or not. What do you recommend? Um, it's a decent place. I would probably put the lumber mill there, and then I would put I would chop away the rainforest on the right side of Ganju and put districts there probably. Okay, cool. Man, there's so much to do. It's nuts. Yeah. There's always stuff to do, that's for sure. The game keeps you busy. Someone's being real aggressive on the other continent. Jeez, the Inca, they're... Their military strength is uh, a little Six, scurry. 670. Yeah, that's pretty big. So would you trade, when you're doing trade routes, would you do somebody that can give you some science, or do you focus on other things? Um, I focus on usually gold, unless I'm hurting for certain other things. I usually will maybe go for growth or production and trade with myself, or I'll trade with the AI looking for gold. Um, so good news, or actually bad news, I won't be able to get my own religion. Good news is I didn't build a holy site yet, so I didn't waste production. Um, all the great prophets have been claimed. The good news is that means the AI will probably have all the religions and fight each other. And hopefully the, that means no one will win a religious victory. Is Phoenicia the one that was close? Or yeah. who was close? I mean semi-close. She converted our continent because she's the only one with a religion on our continent. 
So someone else has a religion on the other continent, and yeah, now other people claimed some great prophets. So it looks like at least three religions have been founded now. So I think we're, I think we're fine. Okay. There's so many tiles you can upgrade, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah, and, and getting those improvements in are a huge deal. Big time. See, a harbor here wouldn't be a bad idea. Be able to get boats out. Sixty or eleven twenty would be better. Second, I'm gonna see if I can bleed the AI for all their cash. <laughs> you can also sell diplomatic favor. If you're not going for a diplomacy victory, diplomatic favor is not that important. And so I often just sell it for everything I can get from, from the AI because a lot of them value it pretty highly. Some okay. of them don't value it very high, but it's worth doing every once in a while to get gold. Mm -hmm. Get that harbor done. They need to get coal. Though I can't see coal correct until. Oh yeah, until industrialization. Uh, so next, this next turn, I'll be able to see it. In fact, I can boost. I'll boost that in nine turns. Should be nice. Jeez, bro. The Congo mad science over here. Yeah, they're doing swell. But you'll be you'll catch up and take a lead pretty quickly. Okay, so got that. Did the Congo have a massive empire though? Looks like we just met China with Kublai Khan, the new leader. Wonder what they got. Nothing really to buy. So that's fine. New continent. Dude, Chinese is a pretty cool but weird sounding language. I guess I like it's kind of true for all foreign languages, but. I need another, just a few more gold pieces. And now I can come here, I shall do it here, and I will purchase a frigate. Which also gonna be the air store. And industrial zones is also the way where you build power plants later. So spacing them out right will give you, will apply power to your cities. And later buildings will give you certain yields. But if they're powered, they'll give you like double yields or more. Industrial zones, do they hit multiple cities in? Is it another one of those like if they're in a certain range? Yep, another six tiles. Certain building. The workshop, uh, I think it's. Starting with the second tier building, the factory will help you give three production to cities within six tiles, and then you get a coal power plant, which will give extra production to tiles within cities as well as power cities within six tiles. So. All right. Three, 
dirty. I'll have to wait a few turns. Ah, uh, Chinese. Hmm. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Chinese must be the mobile mongers. They have a big army. So they very well could be. I know, let's see. They built the Oracle, though. Lucky. They want some Niter for gold. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, I already did boost industrialization now. Great. So I'll get industrialization pretty soon. Now I can get that next uh, improvement. Need to grow Rome even faster. Now the question is, do I want an entertainment complex or a commercial hub in Rome? All the great profits have been earned. And, but the weird thing is the great profits have been earned, but only three of the five religions have been founded. That's super weird. Hmm. I guess to start a commercial hub. How do you know which buildings are districts? Mm -hmm. how, sorry, what? How do you know which ones are? How do you know which buildings are districts? So when you go to build, the first, um, in the, everything is organized by districts. So technically your city center is a district and you have buildings that are inside it. You have a campus and it shows buildings that are inside it if you've already built it. Otherwise everything in that section is a district. Okay. Yep. And also it mostly just comes from like, just playing. <laughs> I'm like figuring out what's what. Probably able to build the Royal Valley here in Rome too, hopefully. Uh, build two markets, took it down four turns, so let's work on naval tradition. Two envoys. to sail across the oceans looking for the rest of these players. Right now it looks like China's winning diplomacy. Religion's being won by Phoenicia. Domination's by us. Which is kind of funny. Culture's Phoenicia and science is someone we haven't met yet which is kind of weird. Um, so I've got two upgrades on Magnus, Pingala, and Leong. Mm -hmm. Would you do another governor or upgrade one of those? Uh, let's see. Uh, Pingala, how, how high do you have him? Just two. They're all two. I would upgrade Pingala to get grants, which will double your great person points in whatever city he's in. So you'll get double great scientist points in your capital if that's where he's at. He's in the Jianju. Cool. Yeah. Which is a northern. And you want, yeah, you pretty much just want him wherever he's going to be getting the, you the most science. Um, 
which probably is your capital, at least in the long run. Uh, especially now that you have those mines in place. So I can rearrange those yeah. two. I'd probably move them to your capital, personally. Oh, yeah, that's a bunch of pillage stuff right there. And crossing the giant ocean here, the Atlantic Ocean. I guess that is fitting. Europeans crossing the ocean. Right, but I'll get this culture for free. Legionnaires are clearing out the, uh, the barbarians. There we go. There's the other side of this continent. Should meet another sieve pretty soon. Aqueduct. This is good. This is still good. It's actually tempting. I need more housing. Um, let's see. Building any harbor buildings? Yes, we are. Okay. Next turn, I'll get industrialization. Did you already get there? Yeah. Sweet. That's probably what boosted it for me, actually. Was you getting there? Makes sense. That's probably why your mines all have so much production on them. Five production on each mine. That's awesome. Well, each plane's hill mine. Kinda got that mad science going on too, bro. Yeah, they're they're doing pretty strong over there. Hey, I've discovered coal. Three places. I'll bring this builder back. So I can improve coal and get more of it. And pollute the earth. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, I'll queue up, I'll get the factory after that. We need to get this in. Oh, I was gonna buy a builder. Probably here. I'm gonna build her a trader. Now that I've got industrialization, I can go towards steam power if I want canals and railroads, which would be pretty good. Um, I think I will get that. Uh, I'll build two shipyards eventually. Let's go back and get stirrups. Alright, so we just met uh, Lion Empire. Cool. Keeb. They're probably... They're pretty strong military too. And we met... Is that Australia? No, Ethiopia. Cool, so we met both of them. Let's see what, oh, they have jade and gypsum, which we don't have. And Ethiopia has truffles, which I already traded for. But it's good to check their luxury resources, because if they have them, you can get, um, but you can boost your amenities to trade for luxury resources you don't have from AI. Okay. And the higher your amenities are, the better your cities will grow, and 
we're probably gonna want to vote to double great scientist points I'm gonna go ahead and put like all of our all of my points into that so that's gonna boost your ability to get more great scientists mine as well but you're gonna get most of them and I'll probably just vote for you for the uh, trade route Turns left, 19 to 39. <laughs> Perfect double points to great scientist. Okay, interesting Ethiopia. I get more trade routes. Cool. Okay, these would be great. Ethiopia. And we can see that, let's see, China's at war with the Congo. Holy Ethiopia. Look at that science. 220. Yeah, they're crushing it right now. Wow. We'll catch up. We'll even be ahead eventually. So after I'm going towards in electricity, should I work on that next? I'm I'm working towards chemistry ultimately, so I guess not. Should go back to astronomy. Yeah, never mind. Sounds good. Sounds like you figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, first circumnavigation, nice. Got a bunch of error score from them. If we ever are in trouble from losing a scientific victory or something, we all just have to invade people. And then they lose, if they like lose a district or whatever, like a library, university, do they just lose that science yield then, I'm assuming? And if you capture their cities, you get those science yields. So, my science yields are not that phenomenal right now as, as Greece or as Rome. I'm doing okay, but I'm not doing anything special down here. How's your uh, settler going? Did you get him over to that island? Almost. He oh, he's is, there. He's nice. there now, right to where we're settling him. Brundesium, never heard of that place. And we're probably going to put down a granary first. Mm. 
Get some water resources, but I accept. That's a lot of gold. Be good. You die slow. Give me the gold. Shh. Clear this dam, but we. Yeah, that's pretty much all of the uh, dams I need. It's over that guy. Oh, Merchant Republic. Why didn't I switch to that before? I just, well, I forgot about it. Whoops. Whew, just 170 gold per turn. Holy cow. That's insane. to heal up these legionnaires. Oh, snap. Barbarian musketmen. We're in trouble. Got our trade route. Send them to Rome since all roads lead to Rome. Might pivot to a cultural focus for Rome, we'll see. Um, for now, need more improvements to get builders. So your, um, let's see, overall score, how is that, like, how are you scored that way? How is it calculated? Like, Ethiopia has 670. So if you, uh, there, there, you can show details. If you look at the score, if you go into, like, the, the world rankings and hit the score tab, you can then say show details, and it will tell you why you have the score you have. Um... It's going to be mostly done okay. with like civics, empire, great people, and then your era score. Um, religion also can give them a lot of points, which is one of the things they have. Mega colossal eruption. Uh, let's see. Whew, who to trade with? If I trade with you, that'll probably boost our own things the most. Maya seemed to be doing, I guess, just kind of eh. Production chores encampment districts, harbor districts, and building of these. No. Uh. I have no idea what to do for these cards, my dude. You don't have turtles, so let me give you that gift to so make sure you accept that. And we need to. Oh, we don't. Oh, we have an alliance. Oh, no, we're on a team. Interesting. I thought we already had our alliance because it has the flags, but it's actually a team. I think. We want to set an alliance, an actual in-game alliance, so that we can uh, benefit from that, but we'll have to wait till mine expire.
Ty doing some stuff with. No problem. steam power I think completed the bath the woods look for more islands to potentially settle So that doesn't do me any good since I don't have any natural wonders. 500 science on standard speed for each natural wonder tile here or adjacent. I just pass on that. Engineers for railroads. Ooh, hydroelectric dams would be really nice too. Go back to banking first. Best place to build that's going to be here. To 180 science, man, that's awesome. Playing that sweet game of catch up. That's pretty much all the deal is. It's the, the AI is ahead of you, and you just gotta play catch up. I got Do I even need iron level? anymore? Not necessarily. It'll help you build knights, it'll help you build railroads. But you don't need it, um, you can trade it away. I trade mine away all the time. 
Nice, got the factory. I can now get the Rill Valley in the Yikes. That's going to be a long time. Um, <sighs> coal power plant would give us a lot more production. Getting some spies, retreat to the city. Whoa. We discovered the Bermuda Triangle. Sick. It gives us a ton of error score. Check this out. I've never done this before, so I'm kind of excited. I think about a movement. Mysterious currents. It just moved our boat to some random location where there's an island. And maybe we can settle there. <laughs> Never never had that in a game before. The Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle? Yeah. I had one with a uh, buddy that I was playing with. Oh, nice. The other day. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, shall we? I need another settler. There's land. Since I'm not at war, should I worry about sending a unit um, with my builder if I'm walking by other uh, units of like the Incas? You should be fine. As long as you're not at war. It doesn't necessarily hurt to have a gear, like a escort, but this shouldn't like be too dangerous either. Let's see here. I have a lot of gold. You know what? I could buy that. I could do it here. That, where is that island? Right over here. Sorry, one sec. So in my case, do I ever need to worry about Great Wonders? Or do you just kind of forgo those? And so, ones you would like to get. You would like to get Oxford University, especially in your capital, because it'll give 20% science bonus in this in your capital. Um, let, let's see if anyone started building it that we can see. We can search for Oxford. On the map. And there's no results. So there's a good chance that no one started building it yet. So if you could get Oxford University in, that'd be epic. However, you have to find a decent enough place and your capital might not have the right kind of location. You'd have to look at that, the, uh, the rules for it. But it's a, a good wonder for a scientific victory. Okay. It's not necessarily that you build no wonders. It's more about picking and choosing the wonders that actually help you win. Okay.
cool little island over here. claim it for the territories of Rome. And to be honest, if we did go to war, the war we would want is to go defeat Phoenicia. They have a, they only have four cities, it looks like. They're relatively weak. Um, and you would eliminate them from getting a religious victory. You want me to work towards that? Not necessarily. I don't, I don't think so. I'm just saying, like, if... If it came to the like a need to expand to make sure we push to get that victory, like that's who probably we would push that. I mean maybe the Inca too. They probably have a ton of campuses. But Okay. Um, but I, I think in general no, we're trying to stay peaceful as much as we can. And hopefully we don't need to um to res resort to aggressive negotiations. Plus four, that's pretty So what cool. am I going to use the coal for other than certain ships? Coal gives you power. So you can build coal power plants. So once you build a factory, you get to build power plants. Coal powers your cities within six tiles. When cities have power, they... Certain buildings, like, will... So a factory, for example, I think provides, like, four or three production and three to, like, surrounding cities. If it's powered, it provides, like, six or something. So when you power it, it's improving the yields pretty significantly actually so I often rush to get power electricity in my cities um, City's looking great though. Um, that aqueduct, dam, industrial zone combo is fine. It's nice. Oh, the one up in Jianju? Yeah. And I see the one you got up here in your in your capital, looking right next to your, your aqueduct. That's pretty solid. And you probably want to put one about right here. because you'll have a JCC bonus from my dam and your dam for a plus two. And you could even put in an okay. aqua. You could even, if you wanted, though not, it's not really necessary because that's a pretty dang good tile as it like, it's getting a ton of food and production out of it. You could even put an aqueduct right here though. And I think that would make an industrial zone there be a plus six or plus seven maybe, which would be pretty great. We're gonna hold on to our coal, buddy. Thanks for the offer. All right, I got my universities in, so my universities are actually gonna give me some science. That's good. Do you ever do the projects? Sometimes, if I have nothing else to work on. Especially if I have nothing else to work on. So if I don't have power plants yet, would it be bad to get rid of some of my coal now, or no? Uh, but I just can, hold on to you, it. You can trade it away. You'll you, you'll accumulate to your maximum amount, which is probably around 50. If you don't have any encampment districts, I think it's it's the max is 50. Okay. So 
yeah. Depending on how much you, you're accumulating, you'll go, you'll burn through it um, if you have a lot of cities that require a lot of power. Um, but that still just kind of depends. So I need to look at finding more coal eventually. I'm not gonna have enough as it is, or do you just not worry about it? Uh, I typically am not going to worry about it unless it becomes an issue. Or I see that it's going to become an issue because I'm not going to have enough coal or something. Because the city needs a little bit of growth, but it's fine. Let's focus on gold. Alright, I got my settler. Maya has a massive army, 856 military strength. Jeez. I wonder if they're, at war, if they're at war with anybody. Nope. They don't like their neighbors, though. We're like on the peaceful continent over here, just having a good time. Asking the sweet son, baby. Uh, let's see, who can we spy on? Also, spies are great. You probably don't haven't really used spies much. But spies help you steal gold and they help you defend your area. And they're also, if you're losing a toy science victory, they're key in preventing a loss. Because um, you can sabotage rocket districts. So. That's pretty good. All right. That's not as good. Blizzard just wrecked my troops. That is unfortunate. I gotta get them out of here. I'm not sure they're actually gonna survive that. Yikes. That was a rough, poorly timed blizzard. It killed my crossbowmen. And my. Jeez. And my legionnaires are alive with like one health. All right, let's make sure we have the alliance we want. Make sure you accept that. Accept what? I sent you an alliance deal for us to uh, create an alliance together. So good. So we learned 67 is not bad though. Gotta make sure as we grow a little faster.
Do you build a commercial hub in my capital? You can. Um, your capital has some... You probably would want to get rid of the stone and place it there. It's probably the best place to place it. Or would you just do like a project or something? Uh, I probably would place the, the commercial hub. Gold is great. Gold is good. But you'd want to get rid of the stone first. Well, never mind. Oh, get rid of... Oh, okay. I get that. With like a builder? Yeah. To eliminate it? You already got rid of it though when you placed the the, uh, the district. Okay. You don't, you don't get like the big production boost from that, but... So you can just get rid of it later. Okay. All right. I didn't know that. Learning, learning. Seven, nine, three. The good news is they're combating for religion, so we should be in the clear. Made it into Jeez. a golden age. Mayan's going wild, bro. Ooh, this wouldn't have this. Uh, heartbeat of steam, yeah. Production towards wonders. Canvas districts provide production. Beautiful. I'm taking heartbeat of steam. Make dedication. <laughs> oh, I was going to buy that, wasn't I? Okay. I don't want to anymore. So, new dedication. Should I do reform the coinage? Okay. No, 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 not that one. Um, Let's see. The heartbeat of steam. For the industrial or later buildings constructed, or the Hicks Thunder Conus. The discovering new continent. Actually, you already discovered places, so that wouldn't really matter. Yeah, it wouldn't help. So just Heartbeat of Steam, probably. Good thing. And that's, that's typically what I'd say. Heartbeat of Steam is really good. It's, oh. it's epic, actually. Next okay, turn, I'm working I can towards start buying stuff. Six. Yeah, you're getting tons of great, spies great are important points as well. Spies are good. Yes, they are quite good. Um, you can Should I do... You definitely like, want to build them, if you can. I have one right now stationed in Ethiopia. Well... Going to Ethiopia, where I'll hopefully be able to steal 600 gold from. 600 gold? Holy crap. So your main goal now, scientifically, by the way, is to get to chemistry, to get those research labs. Assuming you already, oh yeah, you already have industrialization. Because you get there, you get research labs, you get a ridiculous amount of science, and that also puts you closer to getting rocketry. What about an intelligence agency, foreign ministry, Gan Master's mm -hmm. Chapel? Uh, if for a science game, probably intelligence. I still need to build mine. I haven't had time in Rome. I've been too busy. I have never even closely done this much. No, ma, had this much production production on my map. It's insane. It's production for days. 
and asked to uh, establish an embassy in your capital. Oh, a great admiral. And sleek, it's an ironclad. I like that. Okay, so I don't have food coming in. That's no bueno. Uh, how do I increase food? My uh, capital is going to starve in 51 turns. So you can tell your city to focus on food. So by hitting the... Uh, when you hit your city, basically there's like... It shows all the yields. You can hit the checkbox next to food, and it will change the focus to food, and it will automatically work food-related tiles. Or you can click Manage Citizens and, and select which tiles you want it to work manually. Um, you can also, do while you're in that view, swap tiles with other cities to make sure you have food-related tiles. If you, um, You're probably just not working some of the more food-related tiles. So how did you do that automatically? Uh, click on the city, and then there's like the food icon. It's the furthest left of the yields above the, in the city like yeah. display. You, you hit that checkbox, and it will automatically work food tiles. And it will update okay. how much food you're getting per turn in the city. Culture bomb adjacent tiles when completing any in, in industrial zone in any city. I'm gonna pass on that since I already have most of my industrial zones done. Up to 202. You have 42 researches done. Oh wow, they have 42. They have to, that's a ton. We're at 34, both of us. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure this out scientifically. Your policy cards, right? You have the double campus uh, district bonuses. Um, yeah, 100% campus district cool. bonus. Yeah. Cool. Trouble in paradise, my man? Nah, just making sure we, uh, we can hopefully pull ahead. Let's see what's. Oh, we're gonna be a great work. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Good guy palps was ravaged by a natural disaster. Yes, I will add that proposal. And then they'll give me money. Let's focus on production. All right, so great scientist, or yeah. Um. Triggers the Eureka moment for one random technology from the modern or, modern or atomic era. Mm -hmm. And applies 100 free great pa person points towards recruiting all current and future great people. Is that a decent one? Would yep. you go for that? Yeah, it's good. Which one? Is that a scientist? No, it's an yes, engineer. Oh, it's a scientist. No. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so I just earned this great scientist, Albert Einstein. Beautiful. That'll help me. 
at least. Okay, so how to get more food? Oh, I have no idea. Vote yes for me because the AI will send me gold. I don't even know where I was ravaged by a disaster, to be honest. I don't see any floods. Maybe it happened a while ago. I guess there was that blizzard that killed my crossbow, which was pretty brutal. Was it one crossbowman or multiple? Just one. Hey, I'll accept your gift, AI. Thank you. Send me a gold per turn. Oh, it was, I think, a forest fire, maybe. Because I see, I, yeah, I, I have some tiles that have been damaged. Maybe it was a flood. I just didn't notice it. What do we have to do for you? So you don't have to do anything. Basically, there's a competition. If people can send me gold, whoever sends me the most, they can win diplomatic favor. The person that does send the most gets two diplomatic victory points out of 20 to win the game. So there's no one that close to it, so I wouldn't worry about sending me gold if I was you. I would just hold on to your gold. Let the AI waste their gold on me. I can get another dam. What? In that coal cool power plant, baby. There you go. Nice. Nice. So just declared war on China. Looks like it was the Congo. And potentially Phoenicia? Oh, they declared war on the Inca. Awesome. The more the AI are at war, the better. Because it just sets them back further. It makes me want to declare war on Ethiopia just to go pillage them. <laughs> They're getting the great lighthouse. Oh, was this another flood? Oh, it was a dust storm. Dang. Okay, let's see. Market is tempting. The Let's see. Got the religious battle going on. Ethiopia and Phoenicia. China denounced me. What? Those whores. For real. No one denounces the great. Probably need to go improve this coal up here. Yeah. Alright, so spies, how am I doing this? Great. So you can they can be defensive or they can be offensive. Um, typically, I like to have one immediately go try to spy and steal gold, level them up, and then bring them back to defend my capital. Um, so I would send them to... It, it says There's a button that says send to a city. I would look through the cities to see what you want to do. Look for one that has a commercial hub and which one you can steal the most gold from. That okay, is what so I would suggest. Cool. Oh. 
civics. Uh, let's go here. All right, so governors again. Am mm -hmm. I upgrading or getting new governors? So you're going to want to get Pingala relatively far upgraded. You're, you want to get him eventually at least to space initiative because that's going to help you build the space program projects yeah, faster. You already did that? Yeah. Cool. Um, you can use, I often will promote Magnus surplus logistics to get 20% growth and then move them around to cities so they can grow a little faster. Um, rain is really good. She'll help you get more gold. Um, yeah. Cool. Sometimes it depends. Like it depends on the government building you built in the first tier, because one of them says like each city with a governor is going to have huge bonuses. If that's the case, get every single governor and put them places. Um, I don't even remember which building I built actually. I probably built that one. No, I think I built the settler one. Jeez, they're going nuts over there. Yeah, they are. Eastern Orthodox. Civil engineering. Need another trade route already. Holy cow, I gotta backtrack so far. Chemistry's a bear. So is it bad to create multiple coal power plants then? Only if they're gonna be within... So, so no, because... It, or I guess in reality it depends, right? Because each one can power cities up to six tiles away. So if you could build... You can build multiple if it means they're going to be helping power other cities, essentially. Um, otherwise, if you if you the second one wouldn't power any other any different cities, then it's not really worth building. If it is going to power okay. other cities, then it is worth building. Or there's it also can provide extra production, so it could be worth building simply because it might you know give you six production or something. Thank you, China.
If you want to remove this, if we're going to put an industrial zone down. I often build too many industrial zones because they're so helpful. <laughs> they're really convenient to have. How do I get more food here? I'm still in that food dilemma here in my capital. So if there's still, if you still can't grow, um, then you can get trade routes there and then trade domestically. You can also get tiles, so you could buy that rainforest tile that's next to your builder. You could buy that and and put it into Guangzhou, and then rather than chop it and build a, building a mine, you could just put a, a, a lumber mill there eventually, and that will uh, provide a little bit more food. You can also, um, let's see, are there any other tiles that you can bring in? Not necessarily. That's the main tile you can do. You can make sure the city's focused on food, and then the other thing is trade routes. Make sure that you can you can feed your city just with trade routes if necessary. All right. as possible. We got the bank done. Open the industrial zone right there. If we chop out though, probably the arena. Spy is executing chosen operation function two levels higher. I'm gonna vote for siphon gold. Or siphon funds. because uh, I'm the one I'm gonna do. And then 100 percent of the city state yield type ones any trade routes. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Scientific, I guess. Not really trading with any. Or am I? That coal power plant will it'll take coal each turn and use it. Yep. How much does it take? Uh, I think it's to generate one or I think one coal to generate two power or four power or something per turn. So certain power is needed based off what buildings use. In fact, I think you can open up your lenses and hit power, and it will tell you which cities are powered and how much each thing is generating. You know, to look at lenses. No. So above your minimap, the far left icon is the lenses icon. You can click it. There's a variety of them. Empire is actually pretty cool because it tells you what bonuses each kind of you're getting in certain areas. But power is the bottom one. And it'll show if there's a city that requires power but doesn't have any, it'll be red. If it's powered and using it, it's green. And it'll show you what, what how it's getting that power, right? It's generated in a certain place, and it'll tell you how it's being generated. So it's one coal for four power, it looks like. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's nuts. Okay, so... Hmm... Oh, 
What are you generating gold per turn now? I'm curious. 313, but part of that, oh. is, part of that is because the AI is just dousing me with gold right now. Champagne showers, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't complaining about them. Should give me the rolling. How does that have a surplus of food now? Whatever, dude. I'm not the one asking questions. <laughs> oh, there we go. I have so much production in my capital now. It is epic. Let's get that through. money. Um, yes. Completed the dam. Work on the factory. Chop out the arena and place in the industrial zone for plus five. Where we want to probably chop out this stone to finish it. Ah, uh, if I have one aerodome already, do you not even worry about building another one? You have an aerodome? Holy, you are flying through science, dude. You're way ahead of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't need one unless you're going to use planes. And to be fair, the AI in general is weak against planes. So if we do need to go to war, the Air Force is where it's at. Um, though it's much more effective when you get to, like, bombers. And so World War II era, but the biplanes are trash. So. All right, cool. Yeah, I remember playing with biplanes. I haven't gotten this far in a long minute, so... Uh, let's see, harbor... Okay, so... Siphon them funds, baby. Natural wonder discovered. Very, very nice. Chocolate Hills. Siphon them funds. That's where it's at, bro. That's where it's at. Where can I spend some gold that will help me? Jeez, sit on a pile of it, bro. I'm just... A, yeah, I mean, I... Okay, yeah, that's actually the thing to get right there. I am a little kitties. <sighs> Better trade route. Let's boost the city some more. zone plus one for each adjacent quarry it's actually a good idea to build a quarry here I guess and instead chop this holy cow and so many moving parts Yes, it is. You can literally play it for hours and hours and hours and, and be like, like, oh. It's been a few minutes. Just one more turn, that's all. Just one more, Just one more turn. I need to get myself on a better sleep schedule, so I'm legitimately thinking about staying up all day today. And then crashing early tomorrow. But we do, we're going to be recording late tomorrow, so. Get yourself on oh, a better sleep schedule on Monday. <laughs> Give me one day to, <laughs> to it, yeah. acclimate. <laughs> Exactly. Sounds genius to me. What could go wrong? Um, absolutely nothing. Let's go, boys. We got stuff to build. Six gold per turn. Holy. Oof. We're playing the catch up game, boys. We'll get there. Yeah, for real. 
I'm starting to catch up a little bit with science. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't played a science game with a with a balance sieve rather than like a science sieve in a long time. Which is a lot harder to do on Deity. You know what we could do with a cube, bro? Oh, thanks. Thanks. We'll see, no though. No problem there, pal. Okay, got a lot of factories done soon. Is there a faster way to doing trade deals with the AI than clicking in every single one and um, going back out, it, it checking deals? It used to be that you would just say, tell me, what you, like, tell me how much you'll give me, and the AI would tell you their maximum limit. It was great. A recent update, I, I don't know if it's a bug or if they like didn't they didn't want people to easily just manipulate the AI. They were like, nope, you got to you gotta like click around and see. It's stupid. Because it makes it way more annoying to make deals with the AI. Okay. Got my campus in there. Let's just buy the dang library. Make the market. Bank would be good, but mostly we just need more builders here still. Holy cow, dude. I don't even know what to do with these builders. I'm gonna send them north. <sighs> send them north. To the north. To the north. Yeah, your, your empire is looking a lot better. It's got lots of improvements. You got lots of districts. Your campuses are looking phenomenal. One thing you really need is just you could use more cities. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I think we'll I might yeah. put one on this little island right next to Changwon, mm -hmm. wherever the freak that is. Cool. How much would it cost to buy one of them? Uh, Free spy. No. Check. Hmm. I am boosting wonders. I could get another city right here. I really wanted to. Thank you, China. China. Yes, yeah. Jeez, dude, I cannot catch the Ethiopians. I know. Crazy Ethiopians. They're doing, they're doing wild things right now. So wild, we might have to do something about it eventually. Shoe sick. Hearing.
back for sanitation. That's right, boys. I'm getting close to chemistry. Very close. Sewer be Gucci. All right. How close are you on chemistry? Uh, I'm getting replaceable parts right now. Hey, and, me too. Uh, and then I need to go back for sanitation. Then I'm good. So you've caught up. Close. But it's still tough to catch the dang Ethiopians and even Congo. They both have 44 and 46. And we're, yeah, you have 39 research and I have 36 research is done. So once we get the once I get the enlightenment, that'll help a lot. Because I'll at least get a lot more science in my capital, which is why I've been focusing on growth there. Aw, oh, he got caught. Once I get 15 pop, I'll probably move Magnus out to help him get 15 pop in other cities. He failed. You gotta get back, huh? He doesn't even have a campus. I'm just gonna put it there, yeah. That's no bueno. Selling 776 gold, though, is very bueno. Uh, yeah, we can do food bonuses here. And let's do it right here. Oh, great engineering, yes. Two things. Promote my spy. Completed the bank. The stock exchange. Now what wonders can I boost? So I'm pretty much in last place as far as the overall score. Is that bad news? Um, technically, kind of, but not really. Like it doesn't. It doesn't really affect. You. All that matters is you get your rockets to space. So. So what does that mean? I'm doing. What am I doing wrong? You're not necessarily doing anything wrong. Um, because what's going to give you more score is, theoretically, um, lots of era score, like great people. But you're you're doing well. Um, and empire size gives you score. Theoretically, if you can get significantly advanced over someone, it doesn't hurt to go conquer them. Um, okay. If you, maybe. It, it's debatable, I guess. We'll see. I'm, I'm getting very un, uncertain. Because generally, you, you, most importantly, you want to be cruising through towards a science victory. However, if you are and you're able to get your rocket districts down, but you also can get planes. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't help, it doesn't hurt to go punish the AI while you're pulling ahead, if that makes sense. Okay. Because you won't really take casualties as much, is that? Yeah, essentially, yeah. If you're advanced enough. And it just kind of hurts them more than it, than it, uh, essentially, which helps you a lot. How have you caught up so quickly in the science tree? Did you get boosts and that allowed you to cut turns down or? A little bit. Which have a empire. level two alliance? Oh, I ain't got that, that's for sure. Hmm. I don't actually know who I, what I'd use this guy for, but for now I'll just go put it in my capital. Boost a little bit and then just, I've been doing my best to, you know, get science, but. Accept your gifts. We could snatch the Big Ben. What does the Big Ben do? Immediately get your gold. My 50% plus one economic policy slot, that's good. Or get three promotions. 
I'll see not here. Okay, yeah, it's not that good. Taj Mahal's not bad. I know someone's producing the Big Ben, though, so this is kind of a big risk. Who to what? Uh, I'm trying to get to the Big Ben really fast. What is that? It's a wonder that um, that will increase my current gold by like 50% and then give me an, an extra economic policy slot. Pingala back to Rome. No, I got 15 pop. Might science just go down? <laughs> I have I've been pretty much treading water at the same science level. I need to maybe put now. this card in then. I wonder if my amenities are hurting, and that's part of it. I have a drop duplicate silver. I like it's city status. Most are, oh, there's a little bit displeased. What resources am I missing that I can get? Incense from China. Gypsum from Maya. Diamonds from Ethiopia, and truffles from Ethiopia. So it helps to make sure you make those trades to make sure you're getting as, as many amenities as possible. Diamonds and truffles, I'll give you cotton, except. And then it was China for their incense. I'll give you turtles. And I think the Maya had gypsum. I shot my menus a lot more, which may boost my science. What do you offer the AI whenever you're trading? Or like a resource? Luxury resources typically. Um, though often just diplomatic favor. Well, like if you're getting a luxury resource from them. Like so I'll swap if I have if I have extra luxury resources, I'll swap one that of my extra. If I don't have extra, then I'll offer diplomatic favor usually because that doesn't matter that much to me in this, this style of game, this strategy. They didn't complete the Big Ben, and we are close, but I don't know if we're going to be. We're one turn away. Okay, beautiful. Hope the AI doesn't finish it this next turn so we can. Completed the campus, work on the library. Close, you can see the little clock tower. How close am I? You can also see the little clock tower. Oh boy. If they finish it this turn, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> oh my hell. They finished it. Beat me by one turn. No way. We just want to go to war. <laughs> After chemistry, what am I working towards? Rockets. You want to get to rocketry. And 
then you need to build spaceports everywhere. Most importantly, in your highest productive cities, though. Speaking of, what wonder do I want to build on one or two turns? Three promotions. Mont St. Michael. Hmm. I guess a district, really. Or the stock exchange in one turn is not bad. Dang it. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. At least I'll get a few, under a few other wonders this turn. I'll probably do one or two more turns, and then I probably need to go to bed. It's almost five. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, it's almost six seven. where you're at. Holy. Or six. Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, you're tired, I can tell. Nope. Not at all. Nice. There's so many things that are in the works that are in like two, three, four turns that are just gonna be done. I know. I just completed Colossus and I completed, no, it's one turn away. But I also got uh, Petra, which is great. Uh, at least it's okay. Really most of, mostly helps the city grow faster. More than anything else. So, how do you properly, um, without getting mm -hmm. as or getting as few grievances as possible, declare war? Do you have to do it like? A couple turns in advance, let them know you're going to war, and then go crap on them, or how's that, how's that so work? So essentially, if you're ready to go to war, you can. there's a couple things you can do. You can declare a surprise war, but that's going to generate the most grievances. Beforehand, you can denounce them, and then five turns later, you can declare a formal war, and that, that's less grievances. There's also Kazai Belli, which means they've, they've wronged you in some way. And you can say, like, there's a specific reason we're going to war. Maybe that's liberate a city... That's there's other there's other ways to do it right. Um, those, for example, with there's formal or holy war, war of liberation, reconquest, protectorate, retribution, and golden age war. Those are also going to generate a lot less grievances. Cool. And really, with the AI at least now, there's apparently in one of the next updates, it's going to change. You get some bombers and some fighters. You can just wreck their whole army and then go destroy their defenses and march in. If you take their capital, do you take everything? No, so if you take their capital, that's a step towards a domination victory. Uh, you need to hold every capital to win. However, if you you have to eliminate all their cities to completely eliminate them from the game. Okay. He's just pulling away in science, isn't he? Nothing I can do to catch yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's smoking us. We're getting there. That's right, my little kitties. Best be happy. All right, one, one, two.
Would you settle the island to the east of uh, my northernmost city? Um, Where sleep would be. There's no hills, so you won't be able to build a campus. But you can do some other things. So, I mean, because you can't build a campus, it's a kind of debatable. It's probably more beneficial, actually. Let's see. Could you get... I could do north of Guangzhou. Yeah, I see. You could settle That's... there. Um, do you have... I would have loyalty issues. I can't see if you would or not, but that would pro that's probably a better place to get another city down. It's contested land. How do you land. check loyalty issues? Hit four. It'll show. Yeah, you. it's green. Those four it, tiles. And is there no negative numbers on it? Like negative twenty. There's a negative one on one of the tiles. Okay, so that that's the loyalty pressure. Negative one's very manageable. Not nothing to worry about. Um, okay. If it's a negative twenty, that's where it's a bit more of an issue. of toys. How are you doing on amenities? Uh, you have silk, I have silk. You have honey, I don't have honey. I'm gonna set up a trade. Proposed a deal. Should help with your amenities as well as my own. Sweet. Well, that's not what I meant to shoot, but it works. to make actually Yeah, theoretically, if we ever do want a war, I'll probably work on a fleet. Oh. Because I could then worry about Phoenicia's navy to hit their coastal cities or raid Ethiopia to try and slow them down. Theoretically, the AI is not always as good as like, oh, we're ahead in science, and then they're going to build camp. Like, their rocket districts is fast. That's one of the benefits we'll have, hopefully, to uh, get you to get the, uh, the, the victory on time. Jeez, 1,600 gold? What are you saving up for, my guy? I just spent a bunch of it, actually, just now. Uh, using it to buy campus district buildings immediately without waiting. I think I'm done with my one verse. Let's remove this. Success, let's go. So much available housing. The city can just boom because of all these massive farms it's got. It's actually pretty great.
Statue of Liberty. Avatar. You can also work on campus research grants and that will grant you a decent amount of science per turn. Extra science. Yeah, I've been doing that. Nice. I just, in my capital, I don't have anything else to do. Right. That's pretty much what I do. When I'm like, eh, nothing's really worth working on. I suppose I could build troops and then work on moving over, but I'm gonna wait till chemistry's done in three turns. Mm-hmm. That'd be big. And working on rocketry. So I have to get chemistry, radio, electric. Jeez. It also helps to have steel for war because steel puts massive defenses on every city. You don't build walls, just puts them on. It's automatically? Yep. City defenses. I would have to go back, all the way back to printing. Holy crap. Barbarians have straight up infantry now up here. Oh, jeez. This is wild. Good luck, musket man. Yeah, for real. It's totally 182 gold, except the gift. get out of this age, bro. Mm -hmm. Maybe a dark age. Oh, really? I am not probably going to... At 104 of 111? Normal. I'm already in a normal, but I could get a dark age, maybe, but probably... Or a golden age, maybe, but probably not. No, I'm going to vote... I mean, I'll vote yes, I guess, but I don't really care. So I don't really know what to do... One air score for each industrial or later building constructed. I've been building buildings, but I can't. I don't know. I should get it. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to refuse Ethiopia's desire for an alliance. China wants to give me gold. I'll accept that. Um, you and I might need to renew our alliance. Yes, let's do a research alliance. Propose, and I'll also so accept that. I won't make an alliance with Dido, but I'll make one with the Inca. Okay, so would you go back and work on that stuff, or would you work on, like, radio and electricity first? Um... Depends. Like, do I need refining for oil and stuff? Oil is pretty solid, but what you need for planes is, at least for World War II planes, is aluminum. Which is with electricity, I'm pretty sure. Uh, radio. I was on that route. Research lab, sick.
this one's going to have to be the last one. I'm going to save it once I finish this next turn's moves. All right. I've got to get up in just a few hours, I think. What for? Oh, we'll just we'll work out and stuff. Yeah, we'll be friends with the Kong. What a beast. Yeah, dude, I don't think I'm going to get out of this. I think I'm going to go into Dark Age, <laughs> which is going to be super crappy. I did not accept friendship with Dido in case we do want to invade her. Oh, I got a f worker here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and oh. save it. Uh, quick save. I'm going down in science. I don't know how. Could be amenities. I guess the research grants, oh, amenities. Yeah. It could be your policy mm -hmm. cards. It could be. Um, a variety of They're things. They're all fine. But, yeah, I've been able to finally catch up to where I'm a bit more competitive. Next turn, I'll get chemistry, and then I'll get research labs, and I will hope, <laughs> theoretically be able to take a more scientific. You're a monster, dude. You've already passed me in science. So I'm focusing on science, and I've now been surpassed by three people? Oh, I have two things, two campus research grants going. I think... If we get your cards looked at and some of your other stuff, we, you can also have your, your cities focus on science. Um, oh, yeah. So po populations can be used as specialists and they can be inside your campus rather than work like food tiles, for example, and they'll get extra science. So that's something we can look at too. Um, cool. So, cool. All right, and man. Appreciate been, it. Yeah, this has been awesome. Thanks for playing. And... I'll see you in the next one, probably tomorrow night. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. For sure. All right, man. Peace out. Later.